sitting here with BJ Shea of the aptly named BJ Shea Morning Show. BJ. Pete. How are you, sir? Dude, I'm good. It's so great. To, how about here? I had no idea this is the world you're into. It's the world I'm into. How many times have we talked and we had no idea? I know. I love rock and roll and comics. I'm 14. Well, here's the thing. There was a time where if you love rock and roll, you used to, you know what? You would beat up people who love comics. Yeah. So I love that the worlds have come together and we're living in harmony. It's Absolutely. Isn't it what Michael Jackson and all is we the world has wanted, really? Yeah, we are right. the world of comic book rock and roll fans. Exactly. We yeah. are the people. What brings you out today? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what brings me out today. First of all, this is awesome. You know, back in the Jurassic period when I was reading comics in the 70s and loving it and, you know, the whole Marvel universe, Absolutely. there was nothing like this. So the teenager in me, yep. the, uh, the young 20-year-old in me is out here reliving that youth going, this is amazing, this is awesome. The fact that I am on a podcast about what I love, yep. this is amazing. I mean, so I am here basically acting like a child and enjoying the heck out of it. Oh, God, yeah. Have you seen some good stuff today? I'll tell you what I've seen. Tell me what you've seen. Here's what I've seen. I have seen women. First of all, I always wanted to meet an attractive woman, and I would realize that. Just in general? Yeah. And I'd oh, realize, you poor yeah, bastard. I know, and I did. You know, okay, my good. wife's a beautiful woman, but I always knew that she'd have to put up with what I liked. <laughs> so I am now seeing amazingly hot girls loving what I love, and knowing more about it than I love. Like our own Vicky Barcelona, who works on our show, she's dressed up as X-23. I mean, hubba hubba. I mean, amazing. And We're not going to put her on camera. It's that hot. Yeah, we. Can, I mean, really. And besides, yeah. I think it might be harassment because I work with her. It's so awkward. I will not comment on how she looks, but let's just say she's received a lot of. No, positive nobody's comment. complaining. No, not no. at all. And she is, but part of the plethora. So you get to come here, hang out, all sorts of great items to buy, books everywhere, and of course Stan Lee's got a mile that's going all the way from here to Marysville. Of course. Yeah, that's insanity. Uh, and the girls. Right. So, uh, but because I'm almost a happily married man, I really haven't seen many of the girls. No, no, no. I understand they're here. Yeah. I hope to maybe see them, but I haven't seen them. You yet. and I cannot. No. 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 We've actually talked about everything but women. Right. As a matter of fact. Right. Because, you know, uh, I mean, uh, again, yeah. you know, I mean, come on. <laughs> you find that one woman, you don't, you don't see. Nope. Hey. Nope. Yeah. Nope. That's it. Nope. Thank so you me. mentioned reading comics I, as a youngster. Yeah. Some of your favorites. Well, in my, some of my favorites. Definitely the Marvel world. The Fantastic Four, first book I ever read, oh. loved it. Uh, okay. So I am way old school with what really started off the Marvel Universe and made it happen. Obviously, uh, you know, Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, all those related comics, Marvel, Batman really dug, especially awesome. when they did started doing Batman and that Joker dynamic that, that wrecked house. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they really sort of, I think, amped up a lot of that dynamic there and gave the Joker weirdly more depth. Yeah, the Dark Knight grittiness is really where yeah. I happened. And now I'm just addicted to graphic novels. You're t I'm talking, because I got married in 85, and you know what happens when you get married? You gotta start giving up stuff and making room for the baby. So I stopped collecting comics. Stopped, Kids ruin uh, every, they no. Do. do not, you know what, if anybody, if you see a child, run away. Don't do it because, no. but uh, what happens is my kid all of a sudden started growing up and liking this stuff. So I started getting back into the world of graphic novels that I missed for 20 years. So now I'm on board with Preacher. Of course, obviously Watchmen, yep. uh, the Fables I'm really digging. Yeah. Uh, oh, um, and uh, the boys, the boys. The boys is uh, great. Garth Ennis is the sickest man alive. And I love him. I mean, the Wormwood Chronicles that he did. I mean, so yeah. I mean, it's such a great time to be a comic fan because there's everything for everyone. The Pro, did you read that? I haven't read that yet. Dude, The Pro is another Garth Ennis. It's a one It's a one series thing about a prostitute that gets superpowers. Dude, it is <laughs> the 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 scene where she is having an intimate moment with a Superman-like guy is epic. Is all I'm going to say. And when say. you say intimate, you don't mean like deep conversation. No, let's just say an airplane. A, an airplane is uh, well put in peril because of their activities. That's awesome. all I'm going to say. It's all I'm going to awesome. say. If you haven't read the pro, you've got to, man. It's awesome. So beyond spending time at the ECC, what's uh, what's coming up next for you? What's the well, plan? What's the, uh, what's the world the, to be, Jack? Here's the plan. We just had a big cystic fibrosis poker tournament, and uh, got to hang out with Annie Duke, who uh, she was on the Celebrity Apprentice. I got to tell you something. That woman is hot in person. Honestly, we were like, whoa. I swear they told her to dress down for that show. Probably because they didn't want to make Joan Rivers look, you know, well, you know. Not that we don't like Joan, but we like Annie a lot. So I did that. That's what I came from. Tomorrow, 
I'm going to be geeking out with my, my one of my favorite games, Magic the Gathering. Yep. Uh, got some good buddies at Cascade Games. They're holding tournaments somewhere around here. I'll be there yeah. tomorrow doing that. And then uh, Monday. You guys put money on the games? That's all right. No, I'm not that good. You guys, you guys bet money? I can, oh, I can't. Gambling magic? What they used to do in magic is you'd put your cards on the line. Yeah. And, and basically they're like, if you lose, you have to give the guy your deck. So I want to keep my cards. Yes. So I don't play that way. No. I really. My son, on the other hand, the little bastard who I, can I say that? The little so-and-so. Well, the little so-and-so. your kid. I, yeah. I think you would know. He, uh... What I call him, little bastard, it really is literal. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Once I get out of here, what's in the future? I'm gonna go to the circus and find his father. Right. But um, I taught him how to play that game at, at the tender age of like six or seven years old. You think he would remember that and stop beating my butt big time? <laughs> I was here last year, first round of the tournament. I get paired up against him, and he looked at me. He goes, "Dad, look." This is a sanctioned tournament. I can't lose to you because you're really bad and my rating will go down a lot. That was the conversation I have with the boy I brought into this world. Another reason why, if you see children, run, run. So, so steal your magic. So that, you know, Pete, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be uh, playing a big magic tournament tomorrow. Excellent. And Monday I'm gonna be sad that I have to go back to work. <laughs> and your job is so hard. I know. You I go really talk know. about stuff you like it's true. on the radio. But I'll be honest with you, I'd rather be gaming. That's the thing. I mean, there's easy. gotta be a way to combine them. There's gotta be a way to put those worlds. This is, you know, together. you're the man, you're the expert. I'm putting this in your hands. Okay. You're the, you're, you know what, you're the idea guy. Yeah. We'll make it happen. And then you have to find the executor guy. I'm just. I thought that was you. No, I'm the guy that makes a lot of comments that throws everybody off track. I'm that guy. I thought that was me. All right, then we need to find yeah, two people. Yeah, we need something we need else. To find two people. By the way, very quickly, just I don't know if you noticed, man. I am so stoked over this shirt. I love Big Bang Theory. So we've got, of course, rock, paper, scissors, scissors. lizard, Spock. Spock. Have you seen the diagrammed rules for that? I haven't seen that yet. They're out there on the, on the internets. Perhaps uh, you're familiar with it. All right, very cool. Yeah. Awesome show. Very, very stoked. Will Wheaton, by the way, coming back for another episode. Yeah. That's cool. Will Wheaton also on The Guild. The Guild is amazing. I know. Let me ask you this, Pete. Yeah. Did you see it coming? Because the hottest girl right now, in my opinion, in the world of anything, is Felicia Day. In the, in the entertainment world, not hotter than your wife. Hotter. You know, he's right. I don't even know who Felicia Day is. I'm no, sorry, did I say no. that? I mean, he meant like am, hot as a name. I am like, told. Like the name is just going up the charts. I am told yeah. the hottest girl. Only body temperature. The poor, yeah. she's got a rare disease where her temperature's higher than most Like the humans. human torch. Not, it has nothing to do with her beauty. No. Which I'm not noticing. No. But I will say this, other people who have watched the Guild, That's what like they tell you. Pete and I, we only watched it because, well, we enjoy the gaming aspect. But of course. Like, did you did you see where this might have been going in season three, and were you getting angry at Will Wheaton that you knew where it was going to go by the? And I don't want to give anything away because it's going to come to YouTube. It's already on YouTube. Yeah. But let's just say the season finale. I hate Will Wheaton even more. All you got to say is good for Will Wheaton. Like if anybody's I hate him. if anybody's earned it. Will Wheaton. Listen. You've earned it, pal. I'm not like Pete, Will Wheaton. You've got enough, okay? You're on Big Bang Theory. You're on Leverage. You're on Star Trek. you got to take Felicia, too. Really, Will? <laughs> really? And on that happy note, thank you so much for coming uh -oh. by. Pete, always a pleasure, man. So good. So good. Tell the folks where they can check you out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. Boy, my bosses will be mad at me. Go to KISW.com, or if you Google BJ Shea, S-H-E-A, you'll find us as well. We have a fun little morning show here in Seattle, but you can hear us all over the world. All over. And we're really geek-friendly, super geek-friendly, man. Uh, and uh, great interview we did with Will Wheaton, which you can check on our website, too. It was awesome. Just did that yesterday. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Pete, thank you, bro.